Hello, good evening, welcome to our new edition of English News. The headlines of this uh, Tuesday, 23, 2016 are Africa Business Forum. The international scene event closes with the hopes of the Sweden economic and political ties. Those were the top stories and welcome in our uh, newsroom. The head of state, Smile Margili, has uh, chaired this morning the sixth meeting of the uh, Minister's Council. Several bills have been examined and approved, including a bill establishing the Code of Drugs and uh, Pharmacy, but also a draft law on the establishment of the National Agency for the Coordination of the Response to HIV, AIDS, Malaria and uh, Tuberculosis. Here's the government uh, spokesman, Mahmoud Ali uh, Yusuf, report. Al Margili, President of the Republic and Head of the Government, has held this Tuesday, February 23, 2016, the sixth meeting of the Council of Ministers. Several projects were reviewed and approved on the following taxes. The first question were concerned on a bill establishing the Code of Drugs and the Pharmacy. This bill has for objective of establishing a Code of Drugs and the Pharmacies, which is uh, the directory of the tax governing the drugs and pharmacies. In the light of the government and development of the health sector this last year, as well as the pharmaceutical sector, it appeared more than necessary to put in place a legal arsenal to guarantee the quality of the drugs. This bill is characterized by a series of measures and a provision that relate in particular on the enlargement of the field of legal definition of the concept in the drugs. This project also focusing on the exercise of the pharmacy. The objective of this project is to improve the recording of medicines to ensure the quality of drugs entering on our territory and to set the standards of pharmaceutical establishments. The second question is based on a draft law on the uh, creation of the national agencies of coordination of the response to HIV, AIDS, malaria and tuberculosis. The creation of this new structure response to the need to strengthen the coordination of cross-cutting skills in order to reduce the socio-economic impact of the three serious disease in the increasing of the effectiveness of a fight and follow the technical and financial implementation of a strategic plans by each sector or department acting in this field. This bill has for objective to strengthen the action undertaken by the government to improve the level of a health of the populations. Thereafter, the Council of Ministers at their head, uh, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Smile Margele, have succeeded to the confirmation and nomination of uh, several executives to their duties. Let's listen once again to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The third question is a draft degree on the approval of a special emergency plane of the International Airport of Djibouti. The draft degree is as for objective uh, the adoption of a special emergency plane of the airport. This project defines as establishes uh, the organization of the relief and in a particular with the regard of the rescue of human lives on the airport and its uh, immediate neighborhood. This plane is a device providing in the event of a disaster or even in the great magnitude. This plane established uh, the accordance with the Chicago Convention contains uh, specific devices on the relief of uh, the rule of the actors, the means, and the circulation of the information. The objective of this tool is to define the procedures for the coordination of the action of uh, various stakeholders. Uh, this project aims uh, to strengthen the safety and security of uh, goods and persons and to pursue the commitment of our country. The fourth question is a draft degree granting the limestone deposit into the assignment of Al Sabih region. The draft degree has for objective to grant the assignment of Al Sabih region a provisional concession sites of the limestones deposit listed in the uh, delimit on the according to the rules and outset of the order number 2009 905 in 19 December 2009. 
This project will allow the company to continue its action with a view of expand its production capacity of assignment in the countries. The five question was based on the draft flow on the approval of the exercise of profession lower on the accreditation of the exercise of profession and a lower is granting to uh, Mr. Mohammed Abdullah and uh, Ms. Amina Ahmed Abdullah in accordance with the provision of, on the Act 236 uh, relating to the profession of a lawyer. The sixth question is a draft decree on the appointment of the Director General of the National Agency for the Information System of the State. Uh, Mr. Mustafa Mohamed Ismail is appointed uh, Director General of the Agency National System of the Information of the State. The seventh question is a draft decree on the appointment of Mr. Mohamed Hassan Mohamed is appointed in a technical advisor of the Minister of Muslims Affairs of Culture and Waqf. And Mr. Deka Iman Aden is appointed Inspector Administrative and Financial Support to the General Inspection of Health Service to the Department of Health. Finally, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Corporation, the government spokesman, has made a report to, to the meeting of a political dialogue between the Republic of Djibouti and the European Union of 20 February 2016. The Secretary of State for Youth and Sport, Mr. Badul Hassan Badul, has presented the report of the first national youth games from 11 and 18 February 2016. Another news, uh, Djibouti Saudi Corporation, the center of the work between the first a joint committee who brought together the senior officials of both countries has taken place today. Let's see details in this video. The Djibouti Saudi Joint Commission of Cooperation has seen the light this morning at the Institute of Diplomatic Studies. The working committee has been chaired on the Djiboutian side by the premature Secretary General Mr. Nagib Abdullah Kamil and the Foreign Affairs Secretary General, Mr. Mohammed Ali Hassan, and the Saudi side, the Transport Ministry Secretary General, and the engineer Faisal bin Ali Al Zain. The engineer Faisal bin Ali Al Zain arrived last night in Djibouti uh, along with a large Saudi delegation composed of 15 members, representative of several Saudi ministries and institutions. The different area of cooperation and the financial support investment, education, health, energy, transport, and communication, culture and pilgrimage, building infrastructure for the benefit of youth and sport will all be on the table and will be discussed during this work. The meeting will continue during the next three days and will come to an end with a signing agreement on Thursday. The Foreign Affairs Secretary General, Mr. Mohammed Ali Hassan, has first and foremost welcomed the engineer Faisal bin Ali Al Zain with the Saudi delegation. He then stressed the importance of this meeting. Faisal bin Ali Al Zain has thanked the Republic of Djibouti for his part, the government, for the warm welcome that has been reserved for him and his delegation, recalling the excellent relations that exist between the two countries. The Arab neighboring countries share the same culture, the same religion, and above all, they have a common history. He said he was convinced that this work will be fully successful and evaluate the support and contribution that each country to another, especially in the light of what is happening now in Yemen. The premature general secretary, Mr. Nagib Abdullah Kamal, for his part, referred the progress of the work funded by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I thank you warmly, ladies and gentlemen, of the Saudi delegation for all the assistance and the continuity of the Kingdom of Saudi brings with regard to our country since the independence and throughout various social economic projects. Firstly, this working meeting of the first joint commission Jewish Saudi relates on several specific projects to various government departments and symbolize our bond of friendship deeply rooted. Secondly, I want to remind that the National Investment Plan, which is under the social management of the Prime Minister's office, is a great asset because it relies on the political will and support 
of the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Ghali. Indeed, this program received financial and technical support of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the tunes of $50 million and with other Arab partners' support is mainly directed towards the fight against poverty. Since the launch of the program, which started in January 2015, the progress is considerable and commendable as in terms of activity and implementation phase exceed over 50% during this year. Through this program, we were able to launch various social economic projects, which is water supply network in Bisidro, the construction of 180 houses, the paving urban footpath through IMO method, so the solar electrification in the area of Asela, and the project construction of the Faculty of Engineering of Djibouti. All these launches work indicated that the program is on track but needed to continue and sustain it over time. Again, on behalf of the Prime Minister and on behalf of the PIN team, I welcome you. Thank you very much. The International the Independent National Electoral Commission has begun yesterday its inspection visit in the district 4 and 5 of Balbala. The main objective of this visit was to control and supervise the electoral map distribution operation as the presidential election will begin soon. The Independent National Electoral Commission whose member took oath its making the tour of the whole country to see uh, firsthand the ongoing electoral car uh, distribution operation and everything uh, that related to the upcoming uh, presidential election. Let's bear in mind that another team from the Independent National Electoral Commission is paying visit at the same time a visit to District 4 and 5 of Balbala in the region in the uh, Djibouti city. And as for the coming presidential election in next April, the Independent National Electoral Commission has opened yesterday its control and supervision operation, the first plenary session within the presence of all members of the commission. Let's see for more information. This important meeting has been chaired by the elected president of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Abdi Ismail Hersi. The agenda of the meeting was an overview of the various mission of the Independent National Electoral Commission. During the meeting, the Independent National Electoral Commission came to draw the coming activities and to debate the composition and functioning of the Independent National Electoral Commission are governed by a presidential decree. The Independent National Electoral Commission is represented in Djibouti and the five interior regions. The members of the CNE are chosen among many for their sense of jurisdiction, morality, and patriotism. The commission consists of three members appointed by the government, three members by the National Assembly President, three judges, three civil society representatives, one person by each political party, and one person designated by each independent candidate. The CNE main mission is to ensure the wellness of the election and control of vote polling offices alongside with international observers. As the vote is on its way, Independent National Electoral Commission has begun its control and monitoring activities by visiting especially the District 5 of Balbala to see the ongoing process of the electoral card distributions. The French artist Thomas Dreyfus is exposing its work at the French Institute. His marvelous work reflects uh, the Djiboutian and above all the relation that ties uh, the two countries. Let's see from the following videos. From February the 22 to March the 31, 2016, the French artist Thomas Dreyfus will be presenting his painting at the French Institute in Djibouti. The opening of the exhibition titled Passage has been held yesterday within the presence of the artist and many personalities, such as Ms. Hasna Barkhad Daoud, Minister of Women Empowerment and Family Planning, and the French Ambassador, Mr. Christophe Guillou, 
more than 100 people have discovered a series of portraits of Jibushins. The Jibushin title passage is the most prominent cultural events of this year at the French Institute. Thomas de Refuse, a remarkable artist, presents a series of portraits. Most of his inspiration come from the average Jibushins. Thomas de Refuse was born in 1974. He lives and works in Paris. After studying history and archaeology at Paris 1 University, he attended fine art curriculum to put his theory into perspective. For over 10 years now, he has taught visual art for young migrants. He makes colorful work with large and thick buttons in which the artist highlights the emotions of body and faces. Dreyfus clearly states that painting is a window in, into its own history and that history is on the progress. His look and painting enrich his stay in Ras Ali, where his re relatives lives. The people he rub shoulder with their value nourish his work, which is organized around multiple contrasts, progress, nature of modernity and tradition, humanity and animality, but also West Africa. The French Institute hosts artists and their works that embodies the constantly revisited cultural exchange between Djibouti and France. In sports news now, the second season of school sports championship is in its uh, third week of competition and continues the league for the girls and boys college, a basketball and football uh, categories in Fukuzawa College. At the industrial and commercial high school, 18 teams from all schools of the capital met yesterday afternoon in basketball with the following result. For a Bulaus, the boys won against Hayel Said by 20 goals to zero. Fukuzawa won against uh, Dogley on the score of uh, seven to five, and finally a uh, Palmeri two won against a Gabot one by five goals to four. For girls basketball, still in the league, Umbuli uh, beats Gabot one for the score of uh, nine to seven. Fukuzawa beats uh, Dogley with seven uh, to zero, and Gabot four uh, beats uh, a Palmeri. Uh, one with a score of two uh, to five. For the football teams, eight institutions played on the field of Fukuzawa College in the first college games categories. The result of this uh, match were a uh, college uh, Fukuzawa beats the Chalfuku College by three uh, to zero. Palmari one beats Hayel Said by one to zero. The college Hambuli beaten uh, Gabod one with the scores of two uh, to zero. And finally, Dogli College beat on Palmari uh, two with the score of three uh, to zero. Let's rem remember that these games count toward the knockout stage of school inters tournament of the second season of school championship. A meeting of a consultation and orientation has been held yesterday between the Prefect of the Region of Tajura, Mr. Abdul Malik Mohammed Benoita, the Regional Council President Hassan Hussein, and the members of the CPC and North Tajura, notably the President of the Board, Mr. Umma Mohammed Hamid, the Vice President Ali Hamid Hassan, and Director of Microfinance Abdullah Hamid. This meeting has brought together the beneficiaries of a microcredit of a North Tajura. They were uh, sensitized on the various vi financial products offered by the CPIC uh, to these uh, clients and the opportunity to use the fund as their uh, saving. At the end of the meeting, uh, the CPIC uh, partners uh, and their uh, financial availability has been evoked. The state in Tajura, subsequently, the North CPEC officials met the young who were uh, carrying information and enlightening to these fresh graduates on the credits and the different conditions to be eligible. The selection criteria are throughout. At the end of the meeting with the fishermen has been organized through the Fishermen's Association. That occasion, all the fishermen were informed about the opportunities of this uh, pre wave project financed by FIDA in uh, financial support for the benefit of the fishing industry. The main the objective was, uh, of, the, of this meeting is not only to motivate the men of the sea, uh, but above all to give them a means to exercise their profession in the best conditions. A meeting on the consequences resulting from the massive inflow of migrants from neighboring countries in our region has been held yesterday in Tajura. 
this meeting uh, at the initiative of the International Organization for Migrants, uh, who had been a campaign for the occasion uh, by a strong delegation of donor countries, uh, was attended uh, by the administrative and security officials of the city of the city white and the Abog uh, region and all sectors uh, concerned by the problems of the inflow of migrants. During this meeting, important exchanges uh, on various issues uh, such as safety, health, hygiene and other causes related to the inflow of migrants uh, were on the agenda between the authorities of the region of Tajora and Abog region and donors of IOM found. The North region Prefect Abdul Malik Mohammed Banoita and Dabale Ahmed Hassan have attended these meetings. Let's go now to the third of the country in El Sabih in the framework of the fight against smuggling. The region a police conduct in operation in the Iskutir sector and its surrounding. The ring of boat control, the police found in the vehicles transporting illegal mass of cat composed of seven packages in which each contained 200 boxes of cat valued with an amount of 1,575,000 Djibouti's franc. These goods were transported by smugglers who passed by the Galilee custom borders. Once past the checkpoint, the goods were lo loaded on board straight to the capital. The entire merchandise has been destroyed and the vehicles used to transport was immobilized. The three uh, people involved were brought to justice to answer for their action and jailed at the central prisons of Gabot. In the regional news now, a key business summit has came to an end in the Egyptian Sine Resort city of Sharm of Sheikh. The Africa Business Forum 2016 sought to significantly boost the economic and political ties between countries on the continent. Said Mohammed for more details. The last day of this conference saw Egypt's Abdul Fattah Al Sisi meet with Kenyan and Ethiopian businessmen which led to several new deals came out of that. The biggest was the five-year contract to export environmentally friendly alternative solid fuels to an Ethiopian company. Within the context of our continent and within the context of using waste and developing solid waste solutions, this is really a very important milestone with the ECARU getting out of Egypt and going into Ethiopia, said Hisham al Kazidar, co-founder of Kala Holdings. Better political ties were also forged at the forum. President al-Sisi met with his Nigerian counterpart Muhammadu Buhari with a focus on fighting terrorism. Definitely the issue of terror was high on the agenda because of the situation currently in Nigeria and the presence of Boko Haram. But they also addressed the need to combat terrorism in all its manifestation on the African continent, said Samir Shukri, Egyptian foreign minister. The Egyptian president also spoke with Sudan Omar Hassan al-Bashir and Ethiopian Prime Minister Hala Maryam Dasalan. The trilateral meeting was basically to address the common vision of the three heads of state in promoting inter-regional cooperation and promoting economic cooperation between them, said Shugri. The success of bringing together the business community and government officials in one place to promote intra-African trade and investments has encouraged the Egyptian government to announce that this forum will be an annual event in Sham al Sheikh. In the United Kingdom now, David Cameron is taking his battle to keep Britain in the EU uh, to MPs after hitting the most serious political obstacles yet. Uh, Boris Johnson announcement that he is to back the Leave campaign. On a Monday yesterday, the Prime Minister has published a white paper on his EU reform plans and make a statement uh, to MPs on last week's uh, summit after uh, suffering the setback of seeing one of his party's most popular figures defy him, the it. The United Kingdom Prime Minister David Cameron has laid out the case for the UK to remain in the European Union to MPs in Parliament. It was a keenly anticipated debate which analysis believed would show the scale of divisions in the Conservative Party over membership of the bloc. Our special status means that Britain can have the best of both worlds. We will be in the part of Europe that work for us, influencing the decisions that affect us in the driving seat of the world's biggest single market and with the ability to take actions and to keep our people safe. But we will be out of the part of Europe that do not work for us, 
we will be out of the eurozone bailouts we will be out of the passport free no borders schengen area and permanently and legally protected from ever being a part of an ever closer union he said the prime minister stressed the decision of the referendum would be final and there could be no second chance he said in support to remain in the eu was because he was standing up for britain and he had no other agenda that was interpreted as a swipe at london mayor boris johnson his much publicized decisions to campaign for britain to leave the eu has been seen by some as a tactical move and to finish this edition, the domino effect and new border controls leave migrants stuck in Greece as more and more border controls are introduced on my Europe's migrant crisis. Domino are falling all the way to Greece. Around 800 Afghan migrants are stuck near the Greek border after the neighboring former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia started blocking their entry. Some have been so disappointed they have tried to make it over the wire fence only to be quickly arrested when we asked to leave to leave us to cross the border they said that this is temporary but it is been four days that we are here said one man another added we don't need food just we want to cross the borders further north uh, handle more Af afghan migrants uh, who have made it into uh, macedonia are waiting to get in to Serbia, but it is also said uh, to have blocked their entry. Meanwhile, the uh, Slovenian army is being sent to guard the border with the Croatia to help police control entries under a new legislation based on Monday. This is it for this edition. Thank you for your attention and have a wonderful evening.